Well, I have to look at the group. I mean, I don't know what group you're talking about. You wouldn't want me to condemn a group that I know nothing about. I have to look. If you would send me a list of the groups, I will do research on them. And certainly I would disavow if I thought there was something wrong. The but you Ku may Klux have Klan? groups in there that are totally fine and it would be very unfair. So give me a list of the groups and I'll let you know. Okay. I mean, I'm just talking about David Duke and the Ku Klux Klan here, but... I don't know. Any, honestly, I don't know David Duke. I don't believe I've ever met him. I'm pretty sure I didn't meet him, and I just don't know anything about him. I am David Duke, and this is a quick, unscripted response to the CNN interview today with Donald Trump. And it's a, basically a direct response to Donald Trump and to the people of America who deserve to hear both sides of every issue. And the first thing that I'll say is I agree with Donald Trump and that the media in this country is absolutely disgusting. It is biased through and through. There are some exceptions, but it's extremely biased. And I'll go into those biases in a minute. I can begin by the inaccurate reporting of the media that I have endorsed Donald Trump. Now, let's talk about the media treatment of this. Okay, Donald Trump was being attacked because just because I said I didn't endorse them. First of all, they lied about my quote endorsement. And then I said that we should make a strategic vote for Donald Trump because of the immigration bill and other bills. They literally said that Donald Trump basically was like me or, or somehow that, uh, that he's a supporter of all my programs or myself or that he was even associated with the KKK. Listen to the interview today. They said, David Duke and the KKK, if David Duke likes you, then you're like the KKK. It's ridiculous, and I can prove to you why this is a total ridiculous lie. There has been a number of other people who've been in the KKK and the American government, prominent people. And not very long ago, in 2010, the president pro tem, the guy who is the most powerful senator in the United States of America, third in line to, in succession for president of the United States under Barack Obama, Obama, was a former KKK leader. In fact, he was an exalted cyclops. That's, that was the, I know these are strange titles, the title in the organization. He was in the Klan, the, the next decade of his life passed when I was. I got out of the Klan a lot earlier than he did, right? But Guess who endorsed this man? Guess who made this former Klansman the most powerful senator in the United States of America and also had him as leader of the Democratic Party? Well, it was Hillary Clinton. It was also Ted Kennedy. And it was also Barack Obama. Yes, Barack Obama. You know, it was okay with him for a former Klansman to be head of the United States Senate. If it is legitimate to talk about my clan background, then you better start talking about Mr. Byrd. Mr. Byrd, Senator from West Virginia. So you see the hypocrisy of what's going on here? Now you can see in the internet, you can get hundreds of interviews, thousands of interviews with Mr. Byrd. They never even mention his, his background. Sometimes they mention it in a footnote or they say, well, isn't it great that you can change and you can overcome this in your life? And, and that's the thing. If I were to become a liberal or a leftist or a pro-immigrationist or a, a pro-Zionist or something like that, they, would, they wouldn't be condemning me. They'd say, isn't it great David Duke can overcome his past? The media is totally biased, ladies and gentlemen.